Let's take a look at the water pump valve configurations. Now, if you look under your curbside bed access panel, the first thing that we want to take a look at is the valve configuration sheet. Every new Oliver is provided with a valve configuration sheet under the access panel. And the first configuration we want to take a look at is the normal valve mode. Now in normal valve mode, it's the one that you're going to use most of the time. With the valve set in this configuration, you will be able to use your onboard freshwater tank and your water pump. And you'll be able to also connect to the city water inlet outside and use a city water source. Uh, there's no need to change these valve configurations for either one of those uses. Now, if we take a look at the boondocking valve configuration, what this is utilized for is when you are out somewhere and you have no water source available and you have already depleted your onboard fresh water tank and you're wanting to refill the tank. Since you don't have a readily available uh, water source, you can buy a five gallon jug of water and actually place it at the rear water inlet of the camper. Turning it into the boondock valve configuration mode will cause that rear port to pull whatever is at the rear inlet in and straight into the freshwater tank. So this is useful to refill your freshwater tank. This can also be used when you're gonna sanitize your freshwater tank. You would simply put your bleach solution at that rear port, put it into boon boondocking valve configuration mode, and it'll pull it straight into the freshwater tank uh, as well. Now let's take a look at the winterization valve configuration mode. Uh, this is still gonna utilize the rear inlet. Uh, this is going to be utilized for winterization as well as decalcification of the plumbing lines and faucets. What this configuration does is basically pulls whatever is at that rear inlet straight into the camper and straight to each faucet. It bypasses your fresh tank. Uh, so that would be utilized for winterization and decalcifications. And now that we've taken a look at those charts, let's actually take a look at the water pump and valves themselves. Now we're taking a look at the water pump and the water pump valves. I want to explain each valve and what it does. We'll first take a look at the one here on the left hand side in front of the water pump. Now anytime a valve is turned in this manner, it means this line is open. What this is currently doing is allowing the water pump to pull from this line. This line actually goes down into your freshwater tank. So in normal configuration mode, your water pump will pull from this line, pulling from the freshwater tank and delivering out to your faucets. If you move here, this one is actually closed. This line is the line that goes to that rear port. So when we turn these valves, you're closing off suction from the freshwater tank and you're opening up the suction from the rear port. All these valves do is control where the water pump pulls from. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the other two valves here in front of the accumulator, you'll notice that this one is closed and this one is open. What this valve controls is actually water flow into the freshwater tank. This is what you would turn to the actual open and close this one. This is a boondock to fill your freshwater tank. Your water pump would actually pull from the rear port, come through the accumulator and down filling into the freshwater tank. You've closed this line off so that that water supply does not go to the faucets. Now, if you were doing a winterization mode, you would leave this line closed. That way nothing goes into the fresh tank, but this one is now open, allowing that water supply to go out to all the faucets. Now, another little neat trick uh, that we actually use here in the service department uh, that I like to share is if you're ever uh, somewhere camping, you're in normal mode. Let me go ahead and turn these back to normal mode. Um, you're in normal configuration mode. You're hooked to city water, but you're getting ready to go somewhere uh, and you're gonna wanna fill your freshwater tank. You can actually come in here and just open this one valve. What that's gonna do is allow the city water that's coming in, that's going out to all the faucets to back feed and fill your freshwater tank. That way you can stay inside, monitor uh, the fill. Once it's filled, just shut that back off and then go outside and disconnect and be on your way. Now, if you do run into any issues with any of the water pump, accumulator, uh, or the valves, definitely just give us a call in the service department 
And please be sure to check out our other videos online on our YouTube channel, as well as our website at olivertraveltrailers.com.